Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be telling you how to set up your new M1 MacBook Air for YouTube streaming. Spoiler alert, it works really well, much better than that bulky gaming PC you've been using so far. But you have to get the little things right, so let's begin. So here's what the setup looks like. We'll use the M1 MacBook Air 2020 base model with 8GB of RAM. We'll use OBS as a streaming software. We'll use stream elements to create a basic streaming background. Uh, we'll use ground control cube for uh, audio capture. The webcam is a Logitech Brio 4K. And finally, we'll use uh, Elgato HD60S Plus to capture footage from consoles like the PS4 Pro that I have. The M1 Air has these two ports. Uh, and in these two ports, you have to manage giving it power USB webcam, your USB microphone, um, and other peripherals like your mouse, your keyboard, your display. There are about seven to eight things you really need to connect to get your streaming setup going. How do we manage this? Uh, you get a hub. Uh, this is the one I chose with because this is what's available in um, Dubai. Uh, just ensure it's uh, Type C on one end and USB 3 on the other. Uh, one more key thing is ensuring that it has power delivery like this one so that it can pass through charger Mac. So you can just connect your, uh, let me see if they have a pass through image. Yeah, something like this. You connect your power adapter to the hub. Uh, it charges your laptop and also all the other peripherals remain connected. Another key point is to ensure that the video output from your hub matches uh, the capabilities of your monitor. Uh, for example, this one outputs 4K at 30 Hz. Uh, I have an ultra wide uh, which runs at 144 Hz. So this wouldn't be good enough. Uh, so I use something like this. It uses the display port. Uh, so I use the second uh, Thunderbolt 4 port uh, from the MacBook to connect a DP 1.4, which can power, uh, you know, 8K, uh, 8K power up to 8K at 144 Hertz. So my display runs smoothly. So that's a setup. Two hubs, one to deliver power and run all the peripherals and one to output display. Stream overlays. Every Twitch and YouTube gamer needs to have one so that your stream is not just you playing the game, but also provides more context to the viewer. He sees the latest chat ongoing. You can engage with the viewer by showing the latest subscriber, donations, etc. So after you've created your overlay, you come into OBS. You create a browser source, which is right here. Uh, let's create a new one and you paste the URL here. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is my previously created browser source. And when you turn on the visibility, your stream overlay should load from the browser and appear. So what this does is bring in real time information from YouTube, from comments and YouTube subscribers, etc. And it's live in your stream. So when you now add things like your camera, it's I can't show you my camera because I'm already recording your windows, etc. All of this will come in to your live stream. Now we come to some key settings in OBS that you need to get just right so that your stream is of the best possible quality. Uh, coming to the sources, you can define each input device as a separate source. So your webcam is one source, uh, your mic is another one, and display and window capture are, are other sources. Let's come to the camera one. You have to decide what the output resolution of your stream would be. For example, here, uh, if I go into settings, I go into video. My output resolution is full HD, which is 1920 into 1080. And that's what all my inputs are optimized towards. Uh, so my output is uh, 1920 to 1080 at 60 FPS. So my camera, now I, this is my uh, webcam source, uh, Brio. I go into the properties. So I am also outputting from the camera or capturing from the camera at 1920 into 1080 uh, at 60 fps and this ensures this resolution matching ensures uh, that obs is not struggling to uh, downscale uh, large resolutions to to your target output resolution now let's talk about filters every source has a list of filters that you can add to it to modify and enhance that input for example in video in my webcam source if i go into filters uh, i have added color correction luts which are predefined um, filters and chroma key to do uh, green screening that i'm doing right now uh, to ensure that my image is what i want you don't see the preview because i'm currently recording similarly for audio with this is my mic i have a series of filters that i have added to ensure that my voice output is of the optimum level you can look up specific guides and videos on how to set up the right uh, set of filters for you to ensure that your output is what you want. Let's look at a few more configurations you need to know. Go into settings, go into stream. 
Stream uh, lets you control which service you're streaming to, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or uh, Facebook. Each service will have its own stream key from your channel. Put that here. OBS will output to that particular service. Pretty straightforward. And now let's talk about how to improve the uh, output quality of your Logitech Brio webcam. Now, sometimes you'll see the image is grainy. Uh, so obviously the best recommendation is better lighting. Just put uh, LED lights around you and the image quality will go up drastically. But to control the Logitech uh, webcam quality on the Mac OS, uh, one software which is available is the uh, Logitech Gaming G Hub. Uh, if you install this, uh, you can go into your webcam, uh, go into video and you can control uh, all the parameters of your video image. One key thing here is if you observe that your stream is lagging uh, or your video, video output from the webcam is slow, that you move your hand and it's not moving in real time, the parameter to play around with, and I've learned this after a lot of trial and error, is exposure. Reduce the exposure, the lag will reduce. So this is the key parameter to play uh, in case you observe lag in your video streams on OBS. Now the G-Hub is uh, pretty buggy uh, on the Mac OS so far. Uh, so what you should do in case it does not open after installation is open up Activity Monitor, go to CPU, search for uh, the G-Hub software, uh, just ensure that you end it or you make it quit and then you restart the program and should. The thing you may want to do is to capture audio output from the system. This could be someone on a video call with you or just game or uh, even a YouTube uh, audio output. The software I would recommend something called Ground Control Q. Pretty straightforward to set it up. Once you install it, uh, in the top bar of your Mac OS, change the output from MacBook speakers to Ground Control uh, uh, 2 channel is enough, to 2 channel. What this does is, let me show you, if I play uh, a YouTube song here, this is now going into uh, the ground control software. Okay, that's the first step. Second, to capture this in OBS, you go into OBS and you define an audio input source, go into properties, second, and you set that to ground control. So. What, what is happening is all the audio output from your system is coming into ground control, which is then coming into OBS. So when I play the song, I play it, you see that the audio input is coming into, uh, into OBS. Now you also want to hear what's happening. Very straightforward. Go to ground control again. And in the output, you can control where the output is coming. So it's the audio is passing through, getting captured, and you can control where the output is coming from. So this is a straightforward way to capture audio uh, from uh, from using Ground Control Cube. In your, uh, your Mac can play some games. I play Football Manager, I play Rocket League, some games uh, from Steam within the MacBook Air itself. But for AAA games, I use my console. Uh, so how do I capture footage from the console? It's pretty easy. We go in here, we use the device HD60S uh, Plus. Uh, the output of the console goes into the input of the uh, of the device, and then it, the output of the device can, goes to your monitor. So it passes through the video signal from the console to your monitor, uh, so you can see the gameplay footage. Now, how do you capture it? Ensure that this is connected to an USB 3 port. Uh, come to OBS again, go into define a new video source, go into properties, and find the device itself, it should be there. So here I can see HD 6S uh, Plus, number two. I do okay. And when I make it visible, uh, boom, that's it. Uh, my PlayStation, let me just see if the controller is connected. It is, the PlayStation uh, is now, uh, I can see the output on my monitor as well as capture it on OBS. Once I control the resolution because it's uh, ultra wide, you can just see uh, that you can play the game, uh, stream the game and capture the game. That's it guys, your entire streaming setup on your MacBook Air. If there are any other queries, because there is um, each system is different, uh, leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply to each comment. I hope you like the video, uh, like it, share it, subscribe it and see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.